Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Rhodes, Director of the Vancouver Center of Rochester here on the Linden Oaks Medical Campus in association with Rochester General Hospital. Today I would like to talk to you a bit about treatment of varicose veins. I've been treating patients with varicosities for well over a decade uh, and have been involved in some of the early trials of these minimally invasive techniques. Um, today we're going to talk about venous closure fast as a means of treating varicose veins. Venous closure fast is a minimally invasive technique to treat varicose veins. Uh, it involves an office-based procedure typically, although we do occasionally do it in the operating room depending on patient preferences. Um, the uh, procedure is done by inserting a catheter into the greater saphenous vein typically, the main superficial vein, that leads to the varicosities. Uh, the catheter goes into the level of the groin uh, from an entry point by the knee. All the patient really feels is the local anesthetic going in. You don't feel that catheter. Uh, there's three or four needle pokes of a dilute local anesthetic that squeezes the catheter down, uh, the vein down to the catheter and insulates all the surrounding tissue. The catheter heats up, uh, the catheter comes out, the vein is sealed down, essentially cauterized, and again, it's, it's not felt as that occurs. Uh, the procedure itself is scheduled for about an hour time, but the actual treatment time is about 20 minutes. You walk in, you walk out, uh, and return to usual activities over several days time. The typical symptoms that we see our patients having are varicose veins, obviously, as well as aching leg fatigue, swelling of the leg. In more severe cases, people will actually develop brown discoloration at the level of their ankle from blood backing up from the veins over time. Those patients certainly merit uh, further workup and evaluation, but mo most patients with the varicosities, um, we're doing this really to get rid of those daily fatigue and aching within the leg. Uh, most patients we're treating uh, are because of aching, fatigue, etc., but it really relates to their quality of life. Um, patients find that after the procedure is done uh, that their leg is less heavy, less achy. They're able to do things on a daily basis uh, without that, that tiredness at the end of the day. The, the other benefit is cosmetic, of course. Uh, you look down your leg, you don't like these varicosities, you just want to get rid of them. Um, if we opt to do just a catheter-based procedure, they will fade over several weeks' time. A lot of patients opt at that same time to have the larger veins removed so that when you come in, uh, they're gone at the end of this. Um, that can't be uh, understated. Uh, certainly, although we're doing it mainly for the quality of life symptoms, there is a definite cosmetic benefit as well. The advantages of venous closure over laser and stripping um, really, really relates to the discomfort afterwards. Um, I no longer do strippings. Uh, most people do not who treat veins uh, in any number. Uh, stripping was that procedure that people heard about that terrified them and they didn't want them to, because of that, they didn't want to come in to, to uh, have their veins treated. Um, again, we don't do that anymore. Uh, the recovery time after that was four to six weeks. It was done only in the hospital. Uh, now it has really moved over to the minimally invasive techniques of laser and venous closure. Uh, both laser and venous closure are really essentially equivalent techniques. I prefer the venous closure fast technique mainly because of decreased post-operative discomfort. Um, for the laser, there tends to be more pain in the thigh and bruising that occurs. So for that reason, I've opted to go primarily with venous closure fast to, to treat these varicosities. On the day of the procedure, uh, you walk in, you walk out. Um, uh, the procedure itself is scheduled over approximately an hour time, but the actual procedure time is about 20 minutes. Um, the uh, thing that most people say is it's kind of like going to the dentist, some a little worse, some a little better. And for the most part, people are pleased that it was a lot less uncomfortable than they expected. Uh, it's just that initial anxiety of the unknown, certainly. Um, again, people really walk in, walk out, go out to lunch afterwards. The procedure itself, uh, there are about four or five needle pokes and a pressure from that, and that's the only thing you feel. Uh, although we talk about these catheters heating up, nobody feels that. Um, the catheter comes out, the vein is sealed down, and then over the next two weeks to potentially two months, those veins fade from below that level. Occasionally, some patients will opt to have those veins removed at the same time, which, if they're localized enough, can be done again in the office setting at the same time. 
uh, with really minimal recovery even from that.